Hi guys, welcome to Friendship Shaving, where today we have everything including the kitchen sink. And uh, thank you to, I believe it was Lee, who made that joke a couple of weeks ago. Today, I'm going to be shaving with my titanium razor from Design 94. And guys, it's fair to say I absolutely love this razor, but I'm going to be focusing today on the aluminium version of this razor that they also make. We've got a German based theme today. Of course, the razor is made in Germany. The shaving soap is going to be Tabac Original, although this is not the tallow original soap. This is the vegan version and it comes as a shave stick that is quite some size and will last a very long time. Now I've got my face down, let's just get my cloth from the sink wet my face again I shall wet the end of this soap there we are and we'll just get some of this on my face this has the original tobacco scent And I must say, as a shave stick, it works very well indeed. It is fabulous soap. Although some of you, of course, will prefer the tallow version. And today I'm going to be shaving with my German themed brush from Frank Shaving. And this has the G5 knot in it. We'll just get that damp in some water. Give it a little shake and start applying this to my face. It's a little bit splashy at first where the fibres flick. I've used this brush a few times. I've got it in the sale. The fibres are apparently made by BASF, which are a German company. And then they go off to Japan, where something else is done to them there before finally coming back to a factory in China. I find this not to be marginally different from the G4 knot that I have from Frank Shaving. Um, I find it very hard to tell the difference, to be honest with you guys. The G4 knot from Frank Shaving um, had really velvety tips and uh, it almost felt like that when you put the, the brush on your face the tips slowed the brush down slightly it was uh, an idea to make the brush feel more plush and give it more of a velvety feel. This hasn't got that so much. It is a very soft knot, but it feels to me to be a little bit more coarse feeling than the G4. I 
And it maybe feels like there is a touch more backbone, but it is a tiny amount. Um, I've had a look at both knots dry with my jeweler's loop, and the only thing I can say for definite is that this knot has a slightly wavier fibre, more of a wave to it. It's very nice to use in a painting fashion like this. Although I've used better brushes and when splayed to me it feels as if there was a little coarseness there. It has a little bit of scrub. That I think is the best way to put it. But you can see that the tobacco soap is lathering up very well. I could add a lot more water to this lather. Um, tobacco really does take water well. It's still one of the best soaps. I would say that I have used this while bowl lathering and it does lather up in a bowl like an absolute champion. So there we are, that's the G5 brush that I got from Frank Shaving. Let me move my water to the other side for a moment. Here we are, this is the razor. It really is quite beautiful. It has a handle that is wider than most razors and I love that about it. It feels absolutely fantastic in the hand. This is the um, Titanium S razor. And today I'm going to put in um, a Classic X Extreme razor blade. I used this the other week, this, so this is its second use. I felt that this was a very sharp blade indeed, but it is a super platinum blade. We'll just put that on the head cap. Pop the guard on. And screw that up and all I need to do is screw it up and then just give it a little tweak there we go done very nice razor indeed now this one was a gift to me from Torsten at design 94 it's one that I've been very very glad of because it's absolutely fabulous um, now it is expensive, being as it's made from pure titanium, but it is an absolutely tremendous razor and was very pleased when they bought out an aluminium version of this. I would have bought an aluminium version. They're very affordable, but as I have the titanium version, I felt it was needless spending my money on the aluminium version. This one is 82 grams. The handle comes in at 95 millimeters, which is just a touch longer than three and a half inches, 3.7 inches or thereabouts. And um, 
it has a negative blade exposure of 0 0.05 millimeters so a very slightly negative blade exposure but it is one of the most efficient razors that I have for me it works superbly well and I've been looking at aluminium razors more and more recently I actually have bought one recently and more about that later I think they offer very good value for money for a metal razor. Um, they are lighter, of course, than titanium or steel. So while this is 82 grams, the aluminium version comes in at 44 grams. There are four different colours available, a lovely bright blue, and a bright red, a black, and a silvery colour. And uh, they retail at $89. Sorry, €89, Euros, I beg your pardon. which is 99 American dollars or 75 British pounds. Um, I feel that that's a very good price for an aluminium razor. And I think what would make the aluminium, aluminium razor, um, although I don't have one, is this wider handle. I think it would feel quite substantial even though it has a light weight. The design on the head cap, you can see those ridges, it's designed to find the perfect angle, it does that for me guys, it's a very, very effective razor, but very gentle, and I, I do absolutely love this one. I have the stand for it, it works as a stand, as you saw, or it's got a patch glued on the bottom, so you can hang it up, and uh, I never been quite brave enough to do that but when the den is finished and I get back in there I may do that but I think I will hang it in my cupboard if there is any chance of that glue failing and I'm sure there isn't um, then it's not going to fall very far um, <laughs> I'd hate to damage my titanium razor because it, it's absolutely stunning, fellas. I do a longer version of this, but in the aluminium one, the specs are all the same as this one here. Uh, very nice indeed, I'm sure. Yes, this one feels a little more coarse than some of the brushes I've been using recently. And of course Ming Li, who is the owner of Frank Chauvin, has gone on to develop other brushes past his G5, there's a G7, a G8, I think there's a G9 now. Um, the developments in these 
fibre brushes seem to move so quickly. It's quite a quite a firm, nice brush to use in a painting fashion. Soft on the tips, but it's only really when it's splayed that it has that that little bit of coarseness, that little bit of scrub. Uh, I think that was five pounds. Well worth trying at five pounds. I got it in the sale. Very pleased with it. And uh, I have the G7 to try as well, the Lather Master. So here we go. We'll go against the grain to start with on the neck. Very, very light pressure. I uh, like the weight of this razor. It comes in just around the weight of my Gillette Slim, a little bit heavier. But in that sort of area, very nice indeed. And Design 94 also, as well as their titanium razor, which was their first production razor, and the aluminium one, they do a stainless steel version of the razor with a different handle. And they call that razor Life. And uh, it has the same head but made from stainless steel. And it has an ebonite handle, a resin handle. And they've taken a few cities around the world and made the pattern and the design and the colour of the ebonite handle to represent that city and it looks like on the ebonite handle it's got a stainless steel tip now I can't say that for certain but it looks like that in the picture stainless steel top and bottom ebonite in the middle at least that's how it looks and they retail at a uh, 159 euros, 169 euros, or 189 euros, depending on the finish. The 189 euros, that is for 22, no it's not, 24 karat gold uh, head and guard plate with matching top and bottom to the handle and a nice coloured patterned handle. Very nice looking indeed. And they come in at 80 grams. So quite lightweight for a stainless steel razor. They've been around a little time now. I will get one at some point, but at the moment, if I'm buying a new razor, I want to try some of the aluminium razors that have been coming out recently. And indeed, I bought a beautiful razor, beautiful aluminium razor. And uh, it's in black and red. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to save that one for the grand reopening of a shaving den. Um, <laughs> so you can see it in all its glory. But needless to say, I am very much looking forward to shaving with that one. 
So today it was all about the design and 94 titanium S, an absolutely beautiful razor. Um, let me just wipe my face. Yeah, very effective razor indeed. Absolutely super shape with this one, always. Guys, if you've not come across this one before, it's well worth looking at. And I will put the link in the description to this video. Now today, I have found, let me put that in its stand where it's meant to be. Found my tobacco original craftsman aftershave splash very very nice this is um, a lovely bit of citrus in it I think this is such a nice product from Tabac. Very, very good. So there we are, guys. That is my shave for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, at some point, maybe next week, I will come back and do a straight razor shave. I have fallen behind a little bit with my straight razors with not having all my stuff in order but we'll uh, try and work that out for next week because I know some of you guys really like the straight razor shave so I'll get on that for next week guys uh, until then look after yourselves uh, please subscribe if you haven't already or at least have a think about it I think that would help me greatly take good care I'll see you soon bye bye now